Yes, yes. Stream is off. I know. No one expects the third stream. Oh, rejoice. Ah! <laughs> Enough of that. Back to streaming. Perfect. Where were we last stream? I'm a big fan of um dropping dropping streams like five times. <clears throat> Sit. Hmm. Well, very impressive. I have to say, I expected no success. Ah, we only just begun. I was hoping you could tell me a bit more about what happened, actually. I did not think I could believe if I told you. Better that you discover the truth for yourself. I was thinking of you, you know. I think we need a little less thinking and a little more talking here. The night at the hospital, what was really happening? Ah, that was your idea. To write. It will scare Trucy. Speaking of which, where is she? You have seen the problem yourself. The letter. One shot in the forehead, eh? Right? Yes. And the reason he speaks of I could not deny my mental wishes, even if it meant my own death. Why not? This is something I will not say for now, please. What's this? For now, business. I have done many things in my life, some very, some well, very, some poorly, but this is a crossroad we must bear alone in our graves. We? I wanted to know what about the night of the incident. This guy's gonna... This guy for sure likes to take his time getting to the important stuff. Of course. I had no intention of shooting my mentor. I snuck into his room that night at the appointed time. Found there upon his bed's table with two pistols. Two? <laughs> yes. The one I had used on stage. And the one that had been used by my partner, Valent. Oh! For the Zack and Valent quick draw thing? I remember. Had the look of one sleeping. I stood by my bedside, hearing only the light sounds of his breath. Then I took the pistol into my hand. I cannot deny that my resolve faltered then for a moment. You faltered? You mean you thought you about shooting him? Recall there was a reason I could not refuse his request. His last request? No, not his first. So, there were other requests you couldn't refuse before. To be honest, I've not only been said that. And I fear I have brought pain upon Trucy. Who's making to be coercing his disciples somehow? Just what's going on with true grammar? Yet, yet, I did not shoot him. Instead, I turned the shot on the clown. I took a pistol and fired the place in my, uh, my then placed it in my pocket. In your pocket? Huh. I believe if you examine the bullet in the clown's head, you will find it to be a different than the one in the mentor. The that one's worth the call. Rifling marks? Yes. Well, that is all I have to tell you. Concerning the case. Concerning the case? You mean something else you could tell me? Ha! Ha 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 ha. You are a fascinating man, Mr. Right? Thanks. Yes. There is another something else. My mentor. His eyes open. What? Playing the grammary? The old devil. He's not asleep, you see. Of course, the gunshot would have woken him anyways. There, we had our last discussion as mentor and pupil. It was not long a discussion. Maybe five, ten, or so. What do you talk about? Ha! Ha! Mr. Reed. Did I not just tell you? It does not concern this case. Hmm, that grammar seems like a pretty steadfast to me. Or maybe just stubborn. Hey, Mr. Wright, presence request in the courtroom or whatever. Once again, I am in your hands. Right, let's get back to business.
defeat the Huns. <laughs> Same day, a little later. Court is not back in session. Watch out. During the research, the bullet was found in Dodo with a clown's head. Well, this is news. And the rifling marks. Watch out. So it wasn't time to do a detailed analysis. So they did find some weapon type matches the murder weapon. Oh, I thought it was very huge. It was a Oh, which is why I'm about to call my daddy to say some fitness. Decisive witness. Really about my account. I'm quite confident in the fitness will do a good job. After all, he is intimately acquainted with the players in our production. Being the other half of the true grammar famous duo, Zach and Valent. Whoa, Valent Grammar. So, we to meet the great make of these other disciples. Wouldn't ya? Perhaps we'll start by asking their name and occupation? <gasps> Valent Grammar. Magician. Your decisive witness, you, you are you. You can prove your fellow student your partner's guilt. Fate, the grand illusion, filled with traps and tricks. Wait, shootings took place at the hospital after 11 o'clock that night. You're a witness? Does that mean you were there that night? If one were to deduce the logical the conclusion is... Yes! Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I have an interesting fact for you. <laughs> you see, several days before the crime, my fitness received this. That is very familiar. Oh, wait, the same letter Zach Grammar received. Yes, or perhaps I should say, ta da! Oh, border, border. And what does it say? Sure, not the same thing. Perhaps you should see yourself. 11.20. What? Practically the same. The court sets this into evidence. This is the most unusual. Exactly what's going on with this court. What exactly is your true grammar of? By which you mean? Oh, have you trouble envisioning a man who would ask his students to choose? Both of them. Just my opinion, I judge. But from these letters, I'd say it is coercing them, not asking them. We put the magicians have together, and in doing shared much of our lives. When people are so close, there are there is strain, perhaps warping, if you will. Yet this has not has nothing to do with the case at hand. But which you mean you're not going to tell us? It made me wonder if you have. If even more about the reason why it couldn't be. Well, let's get to the testimony for starters. The defendant, Gra Zach Grammary, stands accused. Tell us why. Oh, I'll do more than that. For where he walks, the red rose's ring sings hymns to miracles of that magic. Fascinating. Though I hardly need to remind you that the evidence could just as clearly point to you as a suspect. The letter, the murder weapon... Now the two bullets found the crime scene? In fact, the only difference seems that there is a designated time. Ah, 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 ah. As every magician knows, timing is everything. And, yeah. and now it's time to get this party fight up. I cry. Ha, huh. that night I visited the hospital at the time of the Magnifique who is quested. The smell of gunpowder hung in my mentor had taken his final bow. I know it's bad, but I said bow. I know, I did not imagine my fellow student might have received the same instructions. Yet a deal with the dead is still a deal. Death, dear, the death sweet kiss I gave to the clown. Can I inform the doctor and the police? Who shot the clown? Mm. So you were the one who reported the crime. Wouldn't ya? Indeed, I would think. I think a fact alone would clear my name of suspicion? Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Yes, the cross-examination generally comes before the conclusion in the court. But if your testimony proves to be true, then the defendant, Zach Grammary, is guilty. And if it wasn't Zach Grammary, then the killer was you, Valent. 
disappearing act and get you out of that. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the wrong voice. Whoa. Getting wrong voice right off the bat is not good. Okay. Secret of the magic. Oh, now that you really have the very secret of your magic for all of us. Let's move on. You went to the designated time, and what did you see? So, you weren't worried for your own safety at all. I mean, you just want gun gunner, yeah? What if the shooter was still nearby? <laughs> did not consider this, to be honest. Forbidden for magicians to have a good imagination. Oh, really? Just imagine all about illusions and magic and crap. How about this? You were there with the cool, sweet shooter, which is why you weren't afraid. Now you are hurt. You are one imagining. It's forbidden for a lawyer to have a good imagination. With this, refrain from pausing so suspiciously more. But suspiciously before it's responding. Oh, I for an imagination is starting to imagine things. Hold it! Let back up for the reason either of you could refuse. So it does. And my partner, he didn't refuse. I mean, if he wrote the same thing to you, then why could you refuse if that couldn't? Because I have a will of steel, of course. <laughs> I also do the trick where I bend steel bars, so perhaps steel isn't all that strong. <laughs> Which is it? Mind if I continue? <laughs> there are two bullet holes at the scene one of the victim and one of the clown. The same one who shot the clown. No doubt my partner Zack would have said much the same thing. Yeah, because whoever didn't shoot the clown committed the murder. I'd be better, uh, I'd better dig around here a bit more and see what it turns out. It's about, let me ask you something more concerning the crime scene, namely. How many pistols were there when you entered the room? By which you mean what, precisely? Two pistols were used Zack and Ballon quick draw shoot, right? One of each of you have one for each of you. You're well informed yet. Only one of my old friends sat in the hospital room tonight. Like, what did Zack tell me back at the lobby? He was like, of course. I had no intention of shooting my mentor. Snuck into the room at the night of approaching time and found there upon the bed table two pistols. I took a pistol I had fired and placed it in my pocket. Hmm. This is no problem with this statement. Only one pistol is visible in the photograph of the crime scene after all. They picked up the pistol and fired it. Indeed I did. Alakazam! Alakazam and Kalakazboo? This was really important. It is quite important. The number of pistols is quite important, Your Honor. Very well. Please add this dead detail to your testimony. What can I do but obey? Only one pistol was in the room that night when I was shot in the clown. Ah, um, how do you know? Okay. So, you took the only pistol there and fired it. That's correct. That pistol was this one, which is the left of the crime scene. Good show. I see you two are magicians of sorts. You're an idiot of sorts. 
Do you have any idea what you just said? Oh, I see you fired. <laughs> oh. <coughs> <laughs> ha! I see you fired. <laughs> I see the fire in your eyes as you glare at the fitness. This is how you're heating up the trial a bit. These slow ballads bore me. Hmm. Still got a hunch. Maybe that's. Ooh. Hey! With the pistol when a pistol when you enter the room. Atop a small bed table, a uh, bedside table, as if to say, "Here I am. Take me in your hand. Pull my trigger. Shoot me." Well, the victim clearly wanted to be shot. But why? Ooh, perhaps he wanted to go out with a bang, huh? Yet we will never hear the truth from his lips. So all we can do is guess. The location of the pistol all that important. Murder weapon, there would be no murder. Very important, Your Honor. Very well. Please add this detail to your testimony. What can I do but the game? Interesting. Why did you do that? Uh, I would think calling the police would come first. Then you know nothing of relationship between the master and disciple. If your master says die, you die. You, do you understand? So, you're gonna die. Certainly not. It was but an example. In any case, I wanted to fulfill my obligation. The final courtesy to the great mentor, perhaps. Or perhaps not. Perhaps I'm totally confused. Maybe I should ask about something else. In order to shoot a pistol, you need a bullet. Where was the bullet? I entered the room and took the pistol in my hand. The bullet was already loaded and ready to fire at any time. The magician is always prepared, you see? Prepared for. One never knows when a miracle will be called for. The magician will always be seven doves in his pocket and white rabbits up to each sleeve. Ah, oh, clearly we're dealing with confessionals here. Is the bullet dog was loaded, the pistol really so important. Not a loaded bullet? Yeah, but wouldn't have a murder weapon. Very important, Your Honor. Very good. Uh, I obey. Loaded a mere pull of the trigger. This was already loaded. Something doesn't make sense. Why weren't the victim's fingerprints on it? You should know that we are a true grammar. We are capable of many things. One of these being levitation of iron balls without touching them. Look, there is no magic involved there. The shooter was just methodical, is all. He simply wiped every single, every single fingerprints. Fingerprints that weren't there. Maybe I should ask about something else. One second thought. This is from the test bike. So you informed the police. What did you do then? What do you suppose I did? I used the magic to levitate my mentor's corpse, perhaps? I don't think no, that's why I'm asking. Now please, the question and skip the sarcasm. After I made my report, I called the doctor and returned to the room. Well, we waited for the police to arrive, we discussed stomach medicine. Oh, you've compiled this with the doctor. It all checks out. He plays Mr. Valid's knowledge of stomach medicine in fact, yeah. Ha, it is an honor. I do not deserve, but I accept. Both make it to sleep to see the same letter. I have gone to the hospital that night. Two bullets were fired. One of them was killed, and one of them killed me. Time to find the cracks in his testimony. Okay, I, I pushed
we have anything that says there was two? We need to prove that there's like two bullets, right? I need to prove that there was two bullets because we have the... I think this is the one I have to press, and then I have to press evidence on this. Only one is visible in the photograph of the scene in front. Picked it up and fired it. The da da da. Yeah. None of the pistols quite important. I think what it's gonna be is like. So this is. I didn't know. This is neat. So he. he shots I could show in that photo, but that's not the other one. Okay. According to the defendant, Zach Ramsey, when he entered the room, there were two pistols on the table. Two? One of the pistols he used to shoot the clown in the forehead, and left with it in his pocket. Oh, of course this is what he would say. Unlike the hapless clown, we must assure our defendant had some brains in his head. Well, what about the what Mr. Valent had told us. You see, something about the testimony that doesn't make sense. What might that be? I told you I took the pistol from <laughs> pistol that was there and shot the clown. That's your story, at least. But the rifling marks tell a different story, Mr. Valent. Recall the prosecutor Gavin told us. Huh. He compared the bullet taken from the victim's skull with the bullet from the gun. The bag of marks of the bullet were a perfect match. Mr. Valent, if you fired this pistol, then you shot the victim with the bag. Order, 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 order. Well, this is a rather sudden. Objection! <laughs> what have I done? Prosecutor Gavin. Well, I owe the court an apology. Sorry. Sorry for what? See, I was on a way of the two of them having a unique pistol for crafting. See, and now this on the right, which mark only proves the type of gun that fired them. But, but that's not what you told us before. You said they were verified murder weapon. Which is why I apologize to you now, quite sincerely, I might have. Would you hold me accountable for my mistake I made in use? I was just this morning. Oh, I am still young. And I might add, I wasn't really my fault. If the defendant had only admitted he took one pistol from the scene of the crime, we would not have been able to discuss it right now, yeah? Hmm. Alan Gregory? Yes, Your Honor. Who would send him to the court as a decisive witness? Was he proven to be more decisive than more divisive than decisive? Objection! Oh, you'll see, in time, the testimony. So far has been a review of the facts. The proof comes next. Care to elaborate, Prosecutor Gavin? When Mr. Valent entered the hospital, the victim had already been shot. As the next t testimony would prove, all uh, right, the, the real fight is about to begin. Mm, bring it. Very well. This will now testify to the court. We must determine who shot what.
I arrived at the hospital at the appointed time, which to say, 10, 11, 20. After discovering the body, I fulfilled my obligation, then called to in a doctor. The doctor examined the body before the police arrived. He was quick to hear the time of death being 11, 10. The time of the room at the time was my partner, not me. Those times are rather close, you have to admit. We're talking about an alibi stands over a matter of minutes. Do you use a 10 minute discrepancy as your buys or your alibi? Oh, it is an easy explanation in this situation. Air Judge, for example, take our debut hit single 13 Years Hard Time for Love. Uh. Cues the song and plays a button. It will play for 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Do it 100 times and the result is the same? The debut single is only 2 minutes and 15 seconds long? What a ripoff. Oh, magic is a world of utmost precision. Focus, focus, Rekha is admirable focus. And it is the time of death determined by the doctor. Uh, uh, there is an incontrovertible truth. Very well. The prosecution warns us that we're dealing with a rather precise timing. Huh. And we can expect the cross-examination to require the same level of precision. Oh, I would hope the defense refrains from the customary broad, sweeping accusations. Lest we blur the focus of the case so clearly demands. Point taken. Wasted remarks will result in a penalty. Carry on, Mr. Wright. Carry on. Right. You shot what? Right, possible. I will get what it is, and then I will also say first try. Objection! I'll have to examine the body before the police arrive. Objection! Objection! Quite clear about the time of death being this, but this says uh, a stat, right? What? How could that be wrong? I am confused. Wait, if I press, do I get hurt? Hmm, I don't think I'm stepping out a limb to say I have some doubts about this. How could the doctor be so precise with the time? You should do as only get estimation time of death, for sure. I'm not sure I've heard of a verified time of death. Magician reveals in making the complex appear simple, but reality is the opposite. What appears complex, in this case, is a matter of subtraction. I see another person has done their arithmetic. Well, oh, the point here is that the IV in the victim. What's the. Uh, is the IV in the victim was taken? Quite visible in the photograph of the scene, but it wasn't used. Ah, recall that we heard earlier that the victim magnified grandly sketch. Every night at 11, Magnify would take an IV drip for 30 minutes. I see that IV bag right there, yes. Oh, now look at this other two closer. Follow the two men down from the bag to the end. When he was shot. Seemed to be the case. 
Vincent even comes out if the IV no longer clips. Imagine the remaining IV liquid. Precisely. The IV liquid functions like our purposes, like an hourglass of sorts. This is how the doctor determines the time of this. From the amount that remains in the bag, it was determined that the IV stopped 10 minutes after the administration began. And so it was when I, Valen, entered the room. Ten minutes have passed since that horrible crime was committed. And this is proof. Hmm. Well, was the right? Hmm. That seem important. Not important. I don't see any problem with that testimony. Yes. Let's continue, shall we? Sometimes the most magical thing of things is the truth. Why, yes, I believe he screamed, My God, he's been shot in the head! If the doctor had noticed that, I believe I would have said the same to you. Oh, and I would have penny in the wreck, uh, pinned the requiem that arose in my soul at that point in sight. Everything happened in an old fashioned investigation. Oh, in any case, I believe this is nothing more than what we have already learned. And so make it for one of those right moments, Oh, I earned a penny. Fair mind, you have made the remark with her. In mind. Yes, sir. What a pain this is trying to be. You know what? That IV thing might be important. Is it this one? The cycle. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. I think the, I actually hit it right, and then like I just didn't say this is it. This is it. like 10 minutes, but it, like the thing is the IV needle wasn't used, right? Like a little syringe or whatever? The vein by the force was a shot and lucky for you. If that IV had not been there, why you might have been a suspect. Indubitably so. I might say it's thanks to the lucky color. Your lucky color? Hinty, even to that wear proudly pawn my spect itself. For it always without fail brings me luck. Why when second ballot won their first magician's grand prix? Yes, the very one held the Association International Magicians. I was adorned in the attire then, too, and a trophy of bus. Ah, oh, what a day it was. It's one trick on every lane, no one needs it. My lucky color, yes indeed, and that IV too. 
I say it was you, especially from me, Valen. His lucky color testimony. That sounds like lucky colors brought up plenty of luck. Not this time. Mr. Valent, your lucky color betrayed you. I'm afraid you've lost me. Your Honor, the witness's testimony says now please come to the it. What? Do you recall my warning at the beginning of the cross examination, Mr. Wright? It's a constitution will be penalized. Who hope the latest execution is well based? Don't worry, I got all the beats right here. Very well, let's hear what the defense can Where is the evidence that contradicts Mr. Valance and told us? Oh my god, safe state number two. Take that! Pity. Do it for me. Take that! <clears throat> Pity. Do it for me. Damn. Yellow this way comes. Take that! The crime scene tells it all, Your Honor. What oh, the crime scene? Oh. Her alt is dark of color and has me yearning for black and white clear cut simplicity. Got lots of our life. Where is this contradiction the photo? My pleasure. Man, I assure you, this is quite simple. But I can't promise anything in black and white. Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. That's green, not yellow. The photo contradicts my witness's testimony. Easiest game of my life. Easiest, hey, easiest game of my life! God damn, I'm good at this game. Kind of like Grammarie. Let's get one thing straight about your lucky color. It's yellow, right? Kind of takes the mystery out of it, but yes. Something wrong with yellow, Mr. Wright? Yeah, there is. Decisively wrong, in fact. Take another look at this stupid photo I got here. What? What's this? Confused and doubt tells what your elderly eyes spot. My elderly eyes can see a problem here, Mr. Valley. Look at the IV bag. <gasps> what is this? What? Foul m magic! It would be hard to call an ivy liquid yellow, wouldn't it? But I'm afraid no magic was involved in taking of this photograph. Oh! Oh! Alec! Alec is low! Border, border, your order! What is it? Objection! Is this, is this some kind of mistake? Yes, Prosecutor the Captain. Your witness is mistake. The they are, the harder they fall. I suppose there's no substitute for experience. Telling Grammarie, the eyes that you reminded us several times. Your lucky color yellow? No, I mean, it's clearly not. It's clearly not. Well, contradiction can mean only one thing. Objection! And to think you almost had me? I see your true colors now at Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Something you'd like to tell us, Prosecutor Gavin? As far as the court can tell, the witness's testimony contradicts the evidence. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, a contradiction? One that I shall be pleased to hand right back up to the mystery. How do you mean? Or how? Because the witness has made no mistake. I agree. At a glance, the ivy does appear sort of greenish yellow. And I assure you that the liquid itself is quite yellow indeed. No, liquid. How do you say that? As far as I can see from the photo, it's green. Yeah, but what color is the IV bag itself? Bag? You mean the plastic bag on the hook? Mm, looks like a, I want to say, light blue. Oh yeah, precisely. Figure it out yet? Put a yellow liquid in a blue bag and what? Get green. Oh yeah, this is incidentally the liquid's true color. I see. Your explanation does have a ring of truth. Objection! As 
as I thought. There's no substitute for experience, Prosecutor Gavin. But, you may tell a good tale. But, you've just proven something rather great for yourself, that is. Good Eve. Liquid and ivy is yellow, yeah? How did the witness know that? Quite unnatural when you think about it. You did think about it, didn't you? Huh. Your Honor, the defense requests an explanation from the witness. As the scene of the crime, the IV liquid appears to be green. So, let me ask. How did the witness know the IV liquid was actually yellow? Oh my god! Oh my god. Lord, Lord, Lord. This way, you will acquit yourself, boy. The witness clearly knew the color of the IV liquid. So I sure do need something. What? I can think of a only one possibility, Your Honor. Doubt has the amount of the ivy liquid in the bag. The time 
more damage from people. That great the travel close for today. Well, maybe I can squeeze in an extra day out of this. I can do a little much needed investigation work. I see there's no objection. What is it? Objection! A word or two survives. You estimate a young and they'll sweep your feet from under you. In a way, you'll never ex ever expect it. You see, I know exactly what you're thinking. What's he thinking about? You say such a bit is used as a way to manipulate the level of the IV liquid. But there is no proof. There's no proof he didn't do it either. Yeah, quite true. Is he getting it? No, it was a witness quite as decisive as I spoke. This, I admit, after all, why linger into past when the future holds so much open? You have something in mind, crossing the gap. Proof, Herr Judge. I have another way to prove my case. With evidence, no less. What's to do this? Oh, this is a victim of Agnifi Grahamley's diary. Diary? After going to the hospital, Agnifi began writing his memoirs, it seems. It's the story of his first is startling debut and the meeting of his disciples. Seems he intended for the last chapter to end quite appropriately with his death. Wait, that book doesn't say what the reason was, does it? The reason why his disciples couldn't refuse his last quest? Well, sadly, it does not. What's important here is on the last page. Apparently, the victim wrote in his journals that night, even after the IV had begun at 11 p.m. Let's read it, shall we? Night's IV, maybe the last. Uh, rest of them, the first to come. Mm. Those appear to be a written just before it's dead. Of course, up to some new evidence. Got it back. Three to the very last part is a particular case. The journal may end here or may not go on. Not long. That depends on the hand. his hand, of course. By his. Oh, he refers to what I defended second hand lead. That would make sense here. Was the first scan of this rough girl. But look at what he said before that. The journal may end here, or it may go on. It may go on. Make me think that I'm intending to write again. That is, if Zachary didn't pull the trigger. Oh, I see the defense understands the meaning of this. The victim's diary does not go on, it means. Because Magnifique's life was brought to an end at the death of Zachary. Order, order, order. Prosecute the captain. Are you certain that Magnifi Grammy rewrote this? Oh, there is no mistaking his handwriting. Well, it does seem to be significant. According to this, Magnifi did intend to continue his diary. Yet, his diary ended here, mate, which plainly it did. did. Ha, huh. since the one who pulled the trigger was the first visitor, Zach Grammy. Well, how do you like me now, Herr Wright? Still too green for you, taste half. Huh? Right about the diary, you pretty got it clear. Still, I find it hard to believe. That he overlooked such an obvious problem with his precious evidence. What was the point? What is his testimony? He heard was lacking. But put together with the evidence, it seems quite sufficient for case. <laughs> the diary is a seven by fifth to cross over. Maybe it's time for me to show some razzmatazz. I'm left with no choice but to show my own evidence. What? You have some sort of evidence that overturns this diary? Huh? It's not that later he thinks it avoid this more embarrassment. Very well. You show us your evidence, right? Well, incidentally, don't even think of showing us the diary I've just shown to court. Now that I've come this far, I hope you have something a little more decisive. Show us evidence that proves the victim's continued writing in his diary. Alright. We have to. The decisive method proving the victim's diary didn't end with his pages. Take that! First, take a close look at the diary. Note the page has clearly been ripped out. What's this? I hadn't noticed that at all. Well, that's why we're still here talking about it. As it just so happens, I have here what I believe to be the missing page. Oh, God, I don't believe! Looking at the page, 
but to imagine that the first visitor that night shot Magnifique Reverie. That's the defense's position. Great. Let me shoot. Him. What in the hell? Huh. Well, why? This is a contradiction to the victim's story. Note the torn edge of the page. That is perfect match with the torn remnants of the last page of Magnifique's diary. Quite remarkable. Oh, would you care to explain what you does to me, Air Attorney? Hmm, the diary continued after the first visitor came, which means that the victim was still alive after Zach Grammarly left, leaving no one to take his life but the second's visitor. Ah, Grammarly. No. No! Camera 18 matches that of the other page. This page is the genuine article. What a Wait, 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 that's impossible. The old man couldn't have written that. Objection! Finally, you just couldn't resist. Could you have right? Is this what? Presenting solid evidence? Hey, Judge? Yes, Prosecutor Gavin. Why don't you request we put a cross examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness? What? Prosecutor Gavin? Is evidence overturns the current witness? I only ask to put it on hold? Please, my new witness has a very, very important piece of testimony to give. Five minutes. No more. I promise. Your Honor? Well, you put it that way, Mr. Wright. Your take on this. Well, Your Honor, judging from his enthusiasm, I'll have to hear the new testimony sooner or later anyways. Might as well be sooner. Then, this is highly, highly irregular. We will put a current cross-examination on hold. I just may step down. Now, Prosecutor Gavin, please bring the surprise witness to the courtroom. I had a bad feeling just then. That ripped out page was too obvious. I must have known. And I should have known it was a bad sign all around. Hmm. Old cry with no audience is the first, even for me, Prosecutor Cap. Oh, I beg the court's understanding. But I had to make a juice, uh, made a judicial deal with the witness to secure his testimony. Judici uh, judiciary deal. The details of the testimony have some legal ramifications, so we say. I thought it's best to contain the information to this room. Hmm. Very well. And you are who are the witness, I gather. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. State your name and occupation for the record. Hey. My name's Drew Missham. I'm a painter, daddy -o. Painter? You're somehow related to this case? No way, not per se. Ah, I have a simple request for the victim. Mr. Miss Ham, was it? Do you know what this is? Heh, <laughs> oh yeah. I know it well. How is it possible? Have you seen this diary page somewhere before? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean yeah, I made it. You, what? You made it? Heh, <laughs> yeah. You may call one of my works. Huh, so the region, the regional prosecutor's office revealed, received a tip off yesterday. Illegal evidence have been prepared for the trial of Sakura Amity. Illegal evidence? Huh, I initiated an investigation and found this witness. Peter in the world of large, the Drew Miss Ham, has another side, you might say. He is a skilled in making perfect reproductions of correct certain things. Forgeries and other words. Forgeries? Well, so we all understand that this page here is a fake. Prepared by a certain defense attorney. Objection! Hold it. I didn't prepare this evidence. Objection! Huh? The attorney speaks? Something about the page, I presume, but what is it he's saying? It makes no sense. After all, it was you who presented the evidence to us, Mr. Phoenix, right? What is? 
Miss Ann was it? Who requested this for you? Who was your client? Uh, yeah. That I don't know, Daddy O. What? Most of my clients prefer to remain anonymous, even to me. I make the items they want and see my payments. That is the extent of my contract with them. Objection! There's no proof this is a fake. How it's fake. Huh? To avoid just this sort of problem. I always put a special mark on my works. I can say, without a doubt, this is mine. Mr. Wright, you have presenting illegal evidence to the court? The high court? Careless of me. That's all I can say. Oh boy! Here! What's this? No, I don't know what you've got over there in the hall. But we give it to you, old boy, the blue suit with the spiky hair. Said it was really important. Ugh. Oh, all a trap. A fatal trap. Right. Yes. I have an explanation for myself. If I did, or hear it? Probably not. Forging evidence is a serious crime. Presenting it in a court is a serious mistake. A fatal mistake. Attorney. Ah, fatal too, perhaps for your client, I fear. Tell me what I kind of defended when I on forged evidence. The answer is quite clear. A guilty van. Objection! Your Honor, wait. I understand that the presenting forged evidence court is a serious crime, but I you cannot hold the client responsible for the actions I undertook as an individual. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Your Honor. Ah, uh, and that's a close call, I dare say. Oh, if the prosecution's office hadn't received that hot tip, everything would have gone the way you wanted to, yeah? Ha, huh, I even gave you a chance. Too bad you declared not to think before embarrassing yourself. No need to further discuss on this matter. Special witness dismissed. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Yes? Could I ask your name? Phoenix Wright. Heh, <laughs> Mr. Wright. I've seen studies. I've seen, I've seen studied many people and none like you. I remember you, Mr. Wright. Oh, I deeply regret to have to declare a verdict this way. The trial is over. Zack, you have the right to find a new attorney and make an appeal. However, this court must. Toronto, yes, Mr. Zack, there's no one thing I wish to make seem. Today, this court cannot declare me guilty. Impossible. I'm afraid the defendant is quite mistaken. I most certainly have the authority to declare a verdict on you. Except, tell me, how do you plan on announcing your verdict? The defendant does not exist. Does it exist? What are you talking about? I'm talking about... About this! <laughs> Mr. Ignar! Did the defense escape? Find him quick? Bailey, close all exits from the building. Hold on, double! You must not be allowed to escape! Daddy Eggmar, aka Jack Remory, did not just escape from court. He literally unbelievably vanished. Right before the bailiff's eyes. No one ever saw him again. Not since that day. This is. This is a Grammy miracle. Ha! Oh!
This is for real the last fake kill stream. Because this has been three streams in two hours. Crossing Musical was the beginning of it all. But if you've watched me wave out these last few streams, I appreciate it. Because I'm going to wave out another one. This is going to be a good wave. Oh, getting my wave up. Speed it up. It's like a propeller. Right? Wait, wait, wait. I'm just big into myself. Bigger. Yes. Get this. Oh, Jesus. My, my nibbling is 